According to Merriam-Webster, a plebiscite is basically a big thumbs up or down from a whole crowd on some major political decision. So you can think of it as an epic choose your own adventure poll where you decide things like, do we want to be our own boss or do we want to stick with the current big boss? Only sometimes the folks asking don't actually care what the crowd wants. The Solomon Report had a lot of plebiscite drama for Micronesia, where the US was like, hey, you want to be independent or do you want to join our squad? But then they thought, we could add a third option of keeping things as they are, which would lower the yes votes for joining the US, but still keep them in the lead. It was all very sneaky. Cut to a 1967 forum in Hawaii where East-West Center Vice Chancellor Y. Baron Goto was all for making Micronesia part of the US, dangling carrots like easier travel and economic perks, but surprise, surprise, three Micronesian panelists were not jumping on the American bandwagon. They were worried about losing their identity and being just another star on the US flag. Tony de Brahm and Francisco Ludong were particularly vocal about keeping their Micronesian identity and not getting lost in the American sauce, while Bonifacio Basilius was more like, let's just see what the people say. Meanwhile, local reporter Byron Baker chimed in, warning that giving Micronesians US status might just see their brightest minds taking the next flight out. His two cents, keeping the UN in the mix to ensure the US steps up its game in Micronesia. Truth be told, the whole thing was less about what Micronesians wanted and more about what would make the US look good. So, uh, Classic colonizer moves.